Welcome, everybody. This is the time you've all been waiting for. These are the contest results for Vintage Beef's fan server contest. So glad all of you guys entered. There's We had around 100 entries. It was give crazy. Or, yeah, give or take a few entries. And um, they, it took us a good amount of time to look at each map, download every single one. But 100 people. We have the top nine for you to look at. Yeah, we're... um. We're gonna re we're gonna read them off in reverse chronological order, with um, the last two being our two winners, and I bet you guys want to know if you won. Was it you? Well, statistically speaking, it wasn't you, but we're gonna see. Yeah. Who it was. And while while we're talking about the entry, I'll be showing some cool like panoramic shots of the what the person built, so you guys can see how awesome they were, especially. So all the top nine were great. Every single one of them were, like, amazing builds. Yeah, like, all of these were, like, the top of the top. Uh, yeah. But, I mean, everyone's, you know, was good in their own way, but these were just outstanding, with the top two being the most amazing. So, um, let's start it off. And our ninth place entry is Bob O'Reilly, with the awesome uh, red brick house. Yeah, it's a it's, uh, red brick in glass adapted mansion as you can see in this first panoramic shot and um, the underground bat cave part was pretty awesome too I mean it was a pretty good build you don't often see red brick being used as a main building material but he made it look nice yeah he pulled it off really well so thanks Bob O'Reilly um, thank you and coming in on number eight is Ethan S the really main feature that we were going for on this one was the outside. Yes, the outside was visually pleasing and it just like looked nice. Built into a mountain, so you can see in the first panorama. Uh, there was no bat cave in this one though, but that's not part of the requirements, obviously. But the outside here is just beautiful. And that was that's what really stuck out for us. So um, yeah. uh, thank you, Ethan S, for your submission. Yeah, and on to the next submission we have. And coming in on number seven is Carlos Two by Two, who's, who's uh he built the set of Gotham City, and it wasn't the best one that we've seen, but the main feature was that he was the only person to actually make a video out of his submission. People made show videos just to demonstrate their map, but his video was actually like an action scene something that happening it to it told a story yes exactly it, it was very clean very nice and um, yeah and we, we really liked it a lot yeah here's a clip from the video right here If you'd like to see more of the video, there's a link in the description to check out his video. You and won't. So, yeah, it's great. And so, um, thank you, Carlos, for your submission. And coming in on number six is Missy K, who basically built this huge um, replica of Gotham City, and it, the sheer size of it is just amazing. Yeah, it's it, there's quite a bunch of buildings here. I mean, quite a, a lot of sights to see. I mean, she just spent a bunch of time walking around just looking at the different buildings. It's it's great. Um, Like, even though some of them may appear to be replicated off of each other, there's still a great variety of buildings, and it's obvious that she put a lot of work into it. Um, So thank you, Missy, for your submission. Okay, and here we have um our fifth place entry with Mr. S. Lucas and um, what this guy did was he made this amazing map with just some really good detail and um, it was also a map with some challenges and it was almost like an adventure map. Uh, it was where you there were some mobs to fight and you had to go and explore and find a few things and overall it was like quite nice like the buildings uh, on the outside even look really good and on the inside there's some good details where you can find stuff where you're looking for the stuff. 
it was really great uh just to play through it we actually had a lot of fun doing it and it wasn't just like a really short thing i took i think it took like us almost an hour to play through the whole thing yeah and the whole entire time we were laughing dying and whatever <laughs> yeah um so thank you mr s lucas for your entry and our fourth place entry comes from Nicholas W. All right, this guy, he had a really nice design on the mansion slash house thing. Um, it's actually quite big. Some of the others are a little bit smaller. His is quite big compared to the rest. Um, there's some even like a county jail over there. The bat cave, that he has a bat cave. It's not quite much to do in there, but the design of the bat cave is quite nice. It looks really pleasing. And the outside of the building especially is really nice. Um, so basically it was a overall pretty good build. And uh, we want to thank you also for your submission and the time you put into it. So thank you, Nicholas W. Thank you. And on number three, we have JJB. This guy, um, I mean, he his build was like really, really amazing. Yeah, he had a really nice garden effect going on outside. Uh, it's like a little wall surrounding almost j just the house, actually, like surrounding the property. The house looks pretty nice from the outside, but on the inside, all the detail between the tables and bookshelves and the little fountain and the bat cave, it, it was a nice build. And um, we... Uh, as As with all the submissions, we really regret having to uh not uh like take them out of the winner slots but we can only pick two and um thank you JJB for your submission and now we go on to our winners all right our first winner of the night coming in in second place is vintage peanut or inner spice he made the most amazing amusement park and yeah. um there was there was a ton of statues. There was one of me, one of me as a creeper, Zach as Steve, there was a Joker, there was vintage beef, there were so many statues. And one of the best parts was there was a lot of interactiveness with mini games such as like golf, um, like King of the Ladder. There was several roller coasters. It, it was pretty it was it was really great. Yeah, one of the main components of scoring points in our little judging system was creativity and this map had a bunch of creativity it was it was one of the most creative maps really because of all the uh wide range of things to do inside the map it's really colorful and there's actually quite a bit of detail for being an amusement park theme park but it looks nice yeah it seems he seems like cool dude and um we're glad to have him on the server Thank you, Vintage Peanut or Inner Spice, for your submission. Thanks and you. Thanks you. Thanks and you. <laughs> and now we go on to our winner, our first place winner. And here in our first place slot, we have Rexonite. This guy's build was sheerly amazing. It was, it was Wayne's Manor, or I don't know if it was Wayne's, but yeah, it was um a huge building that um he built with uh some wo mostly wooden glowstone it looked great and then there was an amazing bat cave underneath yeah he even used a little bit of terrain modifier to build terraforming up. yeah terrain terraforming to build up the house so it's like on a huge cliff and there's a stairway going up to it uh the outside of this thing is beautiful it's huge too yeah it takes up this is the biggest manor we had and it, it looks nice. The inside of the main place looks also looks nice. It's not quite as spectacular as the outside, but once you get down to the bat cave, it, it looks like that's amazing. Yeah, like the time that this guy put into it, it must have been like crazy because uh, the detail uh, that was put into the bat cave as well as the house on top was quite amazing and we both agree that he is very deserving of our first place slot and um, the second slot on our on the vintage B fan server and um, thank you Rex Knight for your submission 
really and congratu- appreciate your work. Yeah, congratulations. And uh, once again, we want to thank everyone who entered. Yeah, thanks, guys. It, it means was, a lot. Yeah, it was great uh, going through all of them. And uh, thank you for putting in the time. And we can't wait to see you guys on the server. You'll enjoy it. So, thanks again, and see you later.